Hi, Cliff Break from Beck Systems. One of my favorite things about the Helix text editor is its good defaults for language servers. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we do a Helix Health, it shows us all the language it supports and the language server it recommends, as well as if it's installed and working. So you can see I have a number of things uh, installed. But what I want to demonstrate today is just the language server for Markdown. So the language server for Markdown is called Marksman, and I also use the Prettier for formatting. So let's just see how this works. I'm going to open up the top-level documentation for the Simple IoT project. And notice right off it, it shows us some problems. If we hit the diagnostics, we see those. And we can go to definition. And once again, we're starting to see the problem there. Let's try this one. Yeah, definition, we jump right in. So what we can do is, is uh, like this user status, if we go to definition there, it's showing us two different links. That, so we see the heading of the page, the document, and then we also see this other top level heading errata and instantly we see oh that should that should be a second level heading not a not a, a first level heading so let's go in and fix that so control all pops us back up and we'll notice that that issue's fixed let's try the second one and let's go meta d for diagnostics or let's just go to definition and again we see two different links it's pointing to and the second one is uh, should also be a second level link instead of a top level so now we have no no diagnostics except for that first one so let's go to that one again this is a little puzzling I'm not sure why it's thinking any of those readmes might match but what if we just add a forward slash that seems to fix that Again, I don't really need that, but um, I'll need to research this and see if a documentation generator would be compatible with that. So the being able to jump around between docs is super handy. And the other thing the language server will do is it will give you suggestions of files that exist. And that way you can more accurately link to uh, to files and, and th this kind of just saves a lot of a lot of problems you know broken markdown links and again the navigation is just super nice with this anyway this is how the uh, language server works for markdown typically you don't think of using a language server for documentation but uh, I'm, I'm finding it just a, just a nice little bit of polish and and, and, and makes makes editing markdown just a little bit nicer. I guess I should show you one other thing if we have prettier configured to, to format markdown so um, so if we go to the user interface page and let's say we typed out a whole big string of text like this and you know this is kind of hard to read in an editor so, but if we save this, pretty automatically breaks this into lines that are easily read in an editor. So again, I, I highly recommend the, the prettier integration for Markdown. It works great and it, it really makes for nice, easy to read files wherever they may be. Thanks for listening.